going into week five, I did not think I'd be saying that the Texans look like the best team in the AFC South. A quarter of the way through the season, the Houston Texans are the best team in the AFC South. Who saw that coming? Preseason, we didn't think that there was too much to make of this team, to be honest with you. I think I wasn't on the train of saying, ooh, the Texans could possibly win their division this year. Now I'm starting to second guess this. Uh, could they be a legit team in the next year, maybe even this year? And is there any chance that they win the AFC South? We kind of discussed this last week. Yeah, if, But when I asked you last week, I think your answer may change this week. It's definitely going to change. Last week I said, no, they're not going to win this division. I, I don't know if I would pick them to win this division at this point, but yeah, they could. I mean, th- I don't know anyone that expected them to be playing like they are, okay? Yeah. C.J. Stroud, 306 yards, two touchdowns. Another game, throwing for a ton of yards. Now, completion percentage isn't great. He was 16 for 30. That's something he's struggled with this season. That's about the only thing he's struggled with, is his completion percentage hasn't been fantastic. On the season, C.J. Stroud, the rookie, four games, 1,212 yards, six touchdowns, zero interceptions the offense ninth in yards a game they're getting 386 yards and nico collins almost the misunderstood or misrepresented wide receiver 428 yards three touchdowns on the season he's fifth most in receiving yards in the nfl the only people ahead of him justin jefferson puka nakua tyreek hill and keenan allen This team has come together so much faster than anyone expected them to. The quarterback looks like a star, and he's in the AFC. Shocker. (laughs) Another great quarterback in the AFC. I don't know how sustainable it is. I don't know if someone figures him out and catches up to him. Ryan, they beat the Steelers 30-6. to And I know know the Steelers aren't great, but like we do kind of look at that Steelers defense as being able to rise to the occasion. It's Mike Tomlin. Right. Like we we imagine them to be a tough team, physical, punch you in the mouth. Houston did whatever they wanted against this team and they ran away with it. And right now they're at two and two. And with the way Jacksonville looks, the way Indianapolis looks, genuinely any of those teams could win this division. The Texans may have somebody catch up to them and they may not that may be exploited later on in the year and we may have to eat our words a little bit. But as it stands right now, when you look at the AFC South, you look at the Colts who took it down to the wire today against the Rams. You look at the Jacksonville Jaguars who you don't know what team you're going to get every week they come onto the field. And yeah, they won in London. whoop de doo Let's see how they do next week in London. And then you have the Titans, which, I mean, does anybody have them winning this division at all? It, like um, it could happen, but it's going to be ugly, and no one's going to enjoy watching it. That, that's the thing about the AFC South. We thought it was going to be a Jacksonville runaway. Right now, yeah. every single team in this division is two and two in and, contention, and the top two teams atop the division because of tiebreakers: Colts and Texans. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. The two and, rookies. And when, you, and when you ask me what team looks the most put together, at least offensively. It's got to be the Texans, right? I, I don't even think it's just offensively, Ryan. I think it's as a whole. The defense is playing good. Will Anderson is a bona fide star already. You can't block the dude. They are playing like a legitimate football team. Yeah, and, and look, they they had two divisional games early in the season, right? They played right. the Colts. They lost to them. They played the Jags. And guess who won that game? Yep. Uh, and then they played the Steelers today and blew them out. Right. And I know that Kenny Pickett got injured, but even before that, it doesn't it matter. Wasn't, it wasn't. It wasn't pretty for the Steelers. When you look at the next few games that they have, it doesn't look that hard, man. Like you got the Falcons, the Saints, then you got your bye week, right? But then you come back to the Panthers, who don't look well put together at all. We'll talk about that later. You got the Bucks, which could probably be a a, a tough game. And then you got the Bengals, which they look in disarray. The Cardinals, the Jags again, the Broncos, the Jets with Zach Wilson, the Titans, the the Browns, the Titans again, the Colts. Oh, most like, of these are winnable games. They're very winnable games. And so I, I just think that the Texans are going to do a lot better than we anticipated. And if you ask me today to pick the team that looks the best on the field with the eyeball test consistently, this. It's the Texans, I man. I, I didn't think I'd be saying it. 
Week five, going into week five, I did not think I'd be saying that the Texans look like the best team in the AFC South. I agree. It, the whole 17th game makes things weird. Used to be after week four, it was a quarter of the way through the season. We're still going to treat it as such. A quarter of the way through the season, the Houston Texans are the best team in the AFC South. Who saw that coming? It, I agree. It's unbelievable. And you mentioned their upcoming games, Atlanta and New Orleans, both winnable games. Ryan, they could easily be four and two going into their week seven bye. Easily. And then you really have to start taking them seriously, for sure. 